Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Today we're going to be testing out an Amazon concealer. I don't know if it is like specific to Amazon, like if it's only specifically sold in the Kiss storefront on Amazon because I don't think I could find this anywhere else. This is the RK by Kiss HD Concealer and Foundation. It was $4. $4. So I'm excited to try this out. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it's it's gonna work out. I don't want to keep yapping. I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself off. If you are interested in seeing how this concealer performs, Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I do have foundation on. I am testing out a new foundation. I think the video should be out already. This was the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I'll have that linked up here if you guys want to check that out after you watch this video. But that's why my foundation is already on. We're going to go ahead and do the concealer because I am amped to try this out. I have a very good feeling about it. Like I said, it's $4. It's a brush applicator which i don't know if i love it says literally nothing because it came just like this this is the rk by kiss brush hd concealer and foundation i guess you can use this as foundation if you really want to like i said it was four dollars in the shade porcelain we are just going to get started i'm going to start on my palette just because I want to see like the consistency of this. I'm hoping that it's not too yellow. Oh, it actually looks like it's going to be a good shade. So that's the concealer right there. I think it's going to be a good shade. We're just going to go right in with it. I always get nervous when I purchase like makeup and skincare off Amazon. I know that it like sits in a big warehouse and I know that even at Sephora and Ulta, things sit at, at a big warehouse, but I just get nervous. Luckily, this one came wrapped in like safety wrap. The one that had like perforated edges that you got to pop open. So I know that this wasn't touched or anything or or messed with so i do feel a little bit better knowing that i'm gonna go in with the brush on one side just to see how this works i don't know if i love brush <laughs> applicators when it comes to concealers pretty much prefer a wand even with like a pump i don't really prefer it but we're just gonna we're just gonna go in y'all i don't know how much i should be using so i'm just gonna use a lot <laughs> i'm first gonna take my brush that i use this is like a, a tapered fluffy brush i like to use this with concealer and I'm going to blend it out. Okay, so this is real, real light. The coverage is there though, so from what I can see. <laughs> I am gonna go in with my finger just to get really like right up against the lower lash line. So I am seeing a bit of blue still right here. I'm gonna go in with more on my finger and just see if I can build it up or if it's gonna separate and be weird. I am always on the hunt for concealers. I'm always on the hunt for inexpensive concealers. You guys know I adore concealer because I have a lot that I have to cover. So if I can find one that's inexpensive and a really good formula, I want to let y'all know. You can kind of build this. It is separating a little bit. In the viewfinder, it looks really good. Like it looks like it's covering a lot, but in person, it's not looking the best. The coverage isn't really there. For me like I can still see a lot of purple a lot of purple it's more brightening than it is anything else you know it's more brightening it is very comfortable on the skin and it did blend really nicely into the foundation so not not great <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my finger this time off the palette and just apply and see if that makes a difference because maybe it's the applicator this is a very liquidy very very liquidy concealer it's like slippery i thought that the nyx bear with me concealer was thin like this one is super like feels super thin yeah so it's hard i read the reviews on this and the reviews were really good a lot of people said it was their holy grail concealer so i was like oh sign me up four dollars and it's good coverage and people's holy grail say less but this isn't really it really isn't covering and i'm having a hard time blending it into my foundation like i really have to go in with the sponge and marry the two i feel like you guys can still see my bags not my bags my dark circles and it really accentuated my bags do you guys see that now it is a very light shade so maybe that's my bad but i feel like this is just making me look 10 times worse. I was so excited for this. Settling into my fine lines, which I'm not gonna hold it against it. All concealers do that when it comes to me because I have a lot of fine lines. It's comfortable on the skin. I'll give it that much. It's very comfortable. It feels like I have nothing on and it feels like it's a little bit hydrating, but it's just not, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Like, let me try it. Let me try it down here. 
and see what it does. Let me see if it... That actually doesn't look bad. Here's what I think. I think for spot work on your face, I think if you are someone that doesn't wear a foundation and that you do a lot of spot work with concealer to cover up blemishes and dark spots and things like that, I think you're gonna like this. And I think it's gonna be worth the $4 that you spend on it. If you are someone like me who needs a lot of coverage underneath their eyes when it comes to concealer, I don't think this is gonna cut it for you. But I think that there are people out there who this is gonna work for. <laughs> that are gonna be happy to have this in their lives. Cause as you guys can see, it's like melting into the skin. It's melting into my foundation down the center of my face. And that looks good. The highlighting down the center of the face looks good. It doesn't look too in your face. It doesn't look like you can tell where the foundation ends and the concealer begins. It's just under my eyes, it's not looking pretty. It didn't accentuate any texture, which I'm happy about, and it doesn't make my pores look bigger than they already are, because some concealers can do that. I think that when they say concealer and foundation, I think that's very accurate. I can see how people can use this as their foundation. They don't have a lot to cover, but they want to do some spot correcting. This is going to be your best friend. I went ahead and I did the rest of my cream products for my face because I want to go ahead and set this concealer now to see how it looks. I'm going to go in with my one size setting powder like I normally use on a little powder puff. It's my favorite way to apply it and we're just going to set. We're going to set and hope that everything turns out good. <laughs> I feel like anything can look good underneath this powder because this powder is just like the bomb. See, it just, I could have the worst concealer on, this powder will make it look good. Now after setting this, I can see that this is separated a little bit. Once it has been set with that powder, I'm not loving the way that it looks. It kind of reminds me of the Winky Lux concealer. I feel like as time goes by too, it's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Down the center of the face looks good. Nothing has separated. It didn't separate the foundation. It didn't make it look bad. It actually blurred some of the pores that I have up here, which is interesting. Really, really interesting. I'm telling you, I think on other parts of your face, this concealer is gonna look really good. I think if you're doing like undercutting of the contour, it'd look good. If you're spot concealing, think anything else besides underneath the eye, this concealer is gonna look good. So now that my final face is done, I can come back and give you my final thoughts on this concealer. Concealer. I think that for spot work, it would work really well if you don't wear foundation and you just conceal, you know, parts of your face like dark marks or acne scars or all that stuff. I think it would work really well for you. Underneath the eyes, like I said, it's not good. It actually looks like it's breaking up underneath my face and it really isn't covering anything. I can see a lot of my purple still, which is not great for me. It's four dollars, you know, it's very inexpensive. It's not going to break the bank. It's definitely worth trying if you think it could work for you. It just, for me, as someone with dark circles, bags, and texture, it was not my cup of tea. So if you have not already, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you hit the little bell so that you are always notified when I upload a new video. If you did like the video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. And I think that's it for today's little review demo, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. Let me know if you have ever tried out this concealer before. I would love to know. And I will see you guys all in my next one.